The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that has co had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Do you notice anything different? Do you feel something different? I'm not just talking about the decorations, the white and the gold, the absence of purple, the return of the Gloria, but something palpable, even in these scriptures. Something is different. A few days ago, we read of disciples like Peter and James and John who were running scared, who were in denial, who had abandoned Jesus in his hour of need. And what do we see and hear today but Peter this unknown, uneducated man fearlessly proclaiming the gospel that Jesus Christ has risen and has extended to us the forgiveness of sins. It is an utter transformation between what we heard just a few short days ago and Peter, the rock, who is depicted in this first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. What's different? Well, Peter and the other disciple came to the tomb. It was empty. They did not find Christ himself there. But nevertheless, they believed. They believed and their belief made them fundamentally different people than they had been a short while ago. Because they believed, because they navigated that path from people who doubted to people of belief, their lives changed completely. They became disciples, witnesses, to whom Jesus, the risen Lord, entrusted everything. The keys to the church, the mission to God's people. And we know what it is like to have failed, to have betrayed a trust, to have embarrassed ourselves in the sight of family or friends or co workers, and yet, nevertheless, to have someone who is a parent, a mentor, or an employer still trust in us. What a boost of confidence that is when we do not merit trust, 
yet are nevertheless trusted with important things. And it shows in the conduct of the disciples in the aftermath of the resurrection. Their hearts are filled with joy. There is a confidence there that did not exist before. And it is a confidence that gives them courage to speak and to proclaim the word and the truth about Jesus Christ to all the ends of the world. Last night at the Easter Vigil, we had some other witnesses present here, new witnesses, people who were baptized into the faith and confirmed, people who stood before us and said that they wanted to put on Christ so that the word and the light of God might be evident and be made manifest through them. And so they did. You may or may not know their names. It is quite likely that the annals of the church will never record their names. But they are witnesses, and we are witnesses. And today is a day when we not only proclaim that Christ is risen, but we honor the most unlikely witnesses. Mary of Magdala, Peter the fisherman, fisherman, John, a fisherman too. Who were these people? Very ordinary folk, nobody famous, nobody with an important desti uh, destiny in front of them, but they did one thing, one single thing that transformed their lives, they believed. And from Mary, the mother of God, to Mother Teresa, the people we honor as saints in our church are more often than not the most seemingly ordinary of people who become extraordinary because of their faith, because they are witnesses who proclaim in their word and in their being, that Christ lives in us, and I live in him.